Hey, you guys. <laughs> Cameo from the husband. I don't think he'll make a premiere. <laughs> I don't think he'll show up. I think he'll hand it to me right through here. But yeah, I drove all night. So I left Miami at 8 p.m. And I got to Atlanta at 6, 10 a.m. How's everyone doing? I see Sherry. I see Kelly. I see Betsy. <laughs> Hi. Do you guys hear and see me okay? Just let's make sure that's good and out the way first. I'm looking down here because I can see the comments better here. But I have my cup of water and my cup of coffee is on the way. Perfect. Good, good, good. So I have my little notebook here because I'm going to need you guys to tell me what you want to see first because this is a lot. I, hey, Locke. I'm not even going to lie. I got a lot. Not everything's for me. I got one thing for Betsy while I was out and about. My coffee's here. Did you stir it? Yes, I did. Thank you. Ooh, can you bring me a, a cube, an ice cube or two? It's hot. Too hot. Take it back and cook it in it. Or you could bring the two ice cubes, whatever. I can't boil my mouth. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Steven. So, yeah, like I was saying, I have my little notebook. I'm going to show you guys what I got. And you guys are going to tell me... Um, what you want to see first on a video. The biggest thing I have, like my next video is the Nikia Joy with the blue. So that's the blue uh, pigment shade. So let's just get, let's just dig in because we got a lot of stuff to cover. Um, Hey, it's not a phase mom. How are you? So you guys know I've been bragging about this little hydro grip. Look how much is left in my little sample. Like, I almost, if I would have ran out, I would have passed out. So I went, I got a full size. I'm feeling good after the drive, Steven. Um, I did come home. The kids wake up at seven. So, hey, oddly Aquarian. So I was like, what? See, I got a full, I got a big mama. I'm excited because I love this stuff. So they wake up at seven. Hey, Kara. Hey, Molly. And I was like, no way. I can't be home after being gone a week and not see my babies. So I laid out on the sofa after driving in. And as soon as I heard them come downstairs, I woke up, kissed on them, and then I couldn't move. So I slept on the sofa for about an hour. And when they went to school, then I, um, I came upstairs and went to bed and slept pretty much all day. I do need to sleep some more. So I have my coffee and my water. That's how we roll in today. <laughs> you haven't tried the primer, Sherry? So it's like, it's not blurring or anything. It's very, it has like a light tack that just holds everything in place. Um, so I pretty much focus it here since that's where we wear the mask because, you know, my skin's not as good as Kelly's. I can't just not oh, throw on eye makeup and keep it going. Um, yeah, it literally does grip everything. And this is the little welcome home bracelet that my daughter made me. Isn't that cute? And it has orange, my favorite color. <laughs> yeah, that makeup, you put that high. So I usually put the YSL blur primer everywhere a little bit. So I do like half a pump because it does have like that silicone, silicone feeling. And then I put the hydro grip right here. Talia is sweet. She missed the mama. So I'm going to start with what I bought in Miami. Yes, Kara, I got back from Miami this morning at 610 in the morning. I walked in the door. I drove all night. I prefer to drive at night. Like, I feel like the, the moon gives me energy. Like, it's so weird. Oh, it's Arctic here. I'm sorry, Molly. I saw like negative 33 you posted somewhere and I was like, whoa, but I was dying like 87. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. 
I have not lived there in a long time. I wasn't ready. I was there forever, Kara. I was there for a week and it felt like forever. There's no traffic at night. It's just easy breezy. Like the sun beams on me and I feel like it just sucks the life and the energy out of me. Um, <laughs> I drove all night. So let me show you guys what I bought at Nordstrom Rack in Miami. So first I went and I bought this Burberry foundation. I can't even lie. I wore it. I wore this and the cushion the entire time I was there. So spoiler, I love the cushion. And the fact that it could hold up the humidity, the Chantecai cushion, and the fact that it could hold up the humidity and everything from Miami, I was, I was shook. I was because when I first felt how it felt on my skin, I really didn't think it would. I would live in 87 for the rest of my life. Yes, Steven, this $52 foundation cost me $14.97. Go, go rinse your hair, girl. This was so good. It was so mattifying. It was a natural finish. It was medium, but under the eye, it was full. So I brought it all the way up. I did not need concealer with this. Where are you at, oddly Aquarian? But I didn't need concealer for this. I put the foundation all the way up and then I put the um, Chantecai Stylo pen, the highlighter pen. And um, yes, $14. What was it? And 97 cents. And it wore all day. It didn't budge. I wore a mask. I didn't have any issues with the mask. And I want to say it was Betsy. She might, she's on the chat, but I believe it was Betsy that I was like, or Rupee, that I was like, let me show you. My oils are coming through and I tapped it with a napkin and there was no transfer. This is amazing. So amazing that Betsy asked me to go back. So, you know, I didn't say no. Hey, Jen. So I didn't say no, I went back, but they didn't have Betsy's shade in this Burberry. So she got, and I will send it to her right after um, this week, most likely tomorrow, the Fresh Glow Gel Stick. And she said I could open it to show y'all. No, nothing came off, Ruby. And this one is, sorry, this, mine was in the shade medium neutral and 60. And Betsy's is in, ooh, I can't pronounce this. Autry, O-C-H-R-E, number 20. So hers is a gel glow foundation stick. And it's like so. Yes, I did, um, Stephen. Everything was good. And then what else did I get there? Oh, and this was also, how much was it? $14.97. Yeah, you need to go. I was surprised to run into um, Nordstrom, into Burberry at Nordstrom Rack. And the reason I didn't do more shopping was because I was there with my son. And I was there, I was like, oh, just get an outfit on me. But while you look for an outfit, I'm going to go. And I swear, in the time I found my foundation match, he was there like with a whole outfit. Here we go. I'm like, jeez, boys. Um, I, I found the foundation at Nordstrom Rack. Hey, Mo, thank you for coming. So then I got the um, this Burberry nail polish. And this is in the shade Teal Blue. And this was on sale for $9. Like, I can't wait to put this color on. Yes, Nordstrom Rack. And um, was it Betsy that told me Nordstrom Rack? You can buy online, but she didn't see it online. So maybe it's selective um, Nordstrom's. So this, Nordstrom Racks. So this is the Burberry Kisses Gloss. Look at this shade. This is in the shade Rosewood. Isn't that pretty? 
Isn't that such an Aileen color? And it's a gloss, y'all. And you know, I don't really do gloss. I did it for y'all today a little bit. It is a great deal. And this gloss was $9.97. Thank you, Nordstrom Rack. Like, where are we going? I'm surprised I didn't walk out of there with every color. You have a Burberry blush? Do you, I mean, gloss, do you like it? So then I got the Liquid Velvet Lip. And this is in the shade Dark Rosewood. And this cost $6.97. That's the shade. Let me swatch it for you. Oh, it's like a mauve. Oh, yes, I like it. So this is the gloss, and then this is the velvet lip. Isn't that pretty? Like $6? I love Moe's unofficial Tom Ford Tuesday, too. Like, the second I get the alert, because it usually comes while I'm working, I'm like, boop, save to watch later. It is a bargain. Yeah, this mauve color, where are we going? We're going to figure out somewhere to go. Okay, so that is my Nordstrom rack haul. Then we got, oh, wait, no. And I, Betsy, do you want to tell them? You want to tell them? So y'all know I don't wear glitter. Um, but I got the NYX glitter glue for a specific reason. Where's Betsy? <laughs> Where you at, Betsy? And then my Westman Atelier came in. And I may pr be pronouncing that wrong. And if I am, pardon le moi. Okay, so yes. So Betsy and I are having a live on Betsy's channel on Saturday at 4. Now, the reason for the glitter glue, as well as, hold on. <laughs> as well as these lashes, which are the ones that um, Betsy wears, is she's going to do her makeup how I do my makeup. And I'm going to do her makeup how she does her makeup. So in the live, I'm be like, no girl, go get two more bronzers. She's gonna be like, you better slap on that glitter. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. So definitely set your reminders for Saturday at four, <laughs> six browsers. I mean, I was trying to, you know, be nice. So the Westman Atelier, I did a poll on the in on Instagram. You guys said you wanted to see it all. It was like foundation, contour, and then all. <laughs> Nobody specifically said highlighter. Um, you better slap on that glitter. Oh my God. I'm not gonna wear my contacts because if anything falls in my eyes, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> be knocking on, um, on Betsy's door. So, <laughs> so the Westman Atelier between Alfeisty and Mo and honey. I am a girl just had to go in. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm just sitting here taking it all out the boxes. And then after I place my order, we need all the sparkles. I just don't like glitter. My OCD doesn't let me deal with the glitter mess. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, so I picked up all of it. I got the... Oh, they're magnets. They scared me. Okay, so I picked up the foundation in the shade 6. It looks about right. Like It looks a little dark, but... Nope. It blended perfectly. <coughs> Y'all are cracking me up. The packaging is stunning, Mo. Like, stunning. And, like, can we talk about, like, how space efficient this is? You just put it away. You know, Mo, on the drive from Miami to Atlanta yesterday, I thought about you. And I thought about how feisty. And I was like, if I could ask Mo one question. It would be, do you store your stuff by product, like all the foundations together, or by brand? I'm interesting. 
I mean, I'm interested in knowing that <laughs> if you don't mind answering. <laughs> uh, yes, Alfeisty, it is gorgeous. So like I said, once we get through everything, you guys have to let me know what you want to see first. And then I got the contour stick. And this one is in the shade Truffle, which is the darkest. Just because, um, you know, certain products by brand and others just category. Okay, I was thinking about doing that. So I'm moving my filming space downstairs. And I know, look at that, how pretty. I know I'm going to want to reorganize what I have the most of um, by brand. So I was like, oh. What about you, Alfeisty? Did she answer? Did Alfeisty answer? See, I didn't mention her because I could just call her and ask her. And she'll tell me. Hey, Christy. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh. Y'all, I was expecting this to go on clear. Do you see the highlighter there? It's not clear. It has like a lavender shift. That is pretty. Okay, hold on. A lot came in. Okay. A feisty does it the same. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I think it'll help me be more organized. It is. Like, this highlighter? Like, I don't know if the camera's... Hold on. Let me see if I can turn down this light. Because this highlighter, though... Okay. Do you guys see that lavender shift right here? Oh, I understand, Christy. I had told um, Alyssa to give you a big old hug and kiss from me. Wait till you get it on your face. Ooh, wee. I just love it. It's so pretty. And then I got the blush. So it looked like the blushes, um, like they shear out a bit once you start shearing them out. So I wanted to make sure that I got something bright. Then when I shear it out, look at that blush. Hey, Just Glow Firefly. I've won and then after I received this, they announced the new highlighter shades, so I think I want that peach one. But I'm gonna behave. I'm gonna behave till I try these. So that's that's what we gonna do. So then, honey, where else do we start? We're gonna start with a Shantikai order that I made um, when Bird Arfs had um, the thirty percent off about a week ago. And I took everything out of the boxes to make it easier. But out of the big boxes, just so everything would fit on top of here. Thank y'all so much for being here. Y'all are so sweet. Yes, Jen. Westman video coming. I mean, between you, Mo, everybody makes it look so flawless. I got to try it. I got to try it. I got to try it. Hey, Amber. I get my order tomorrow. Which one? A Shantakai or a Westman? And I do have on my eyes, I have the Mare shade from Shantakai, like that sea moss green. So pretty. With an Adidas shirt. It's fine. Hi, Christy. I just love the mare shade. So Shantikai. I picked up the anti-pollution mattifying cream. So this, it, I find, is very nice. So I did purchase this. In this package, I was gifted um, by Shantikai the bio-lifting oil-free serum, which I, sorry, I dropped something. Um, which I really enjoy. And this, as I use it in the daytime as a moisturizer combined with this before I put on 
glam and Adidas and all. Yes, girl, my jogging pants. <laughs> like, you know how we do. Mo, we have that, our jogging life, you know. And I tried to go jogging in Miami and I would put on my jogging clothes and then I would walk outside and I felt like I walked into an oven and I'm like, no, bro, all I gotta do is stand here for 10 minutes and I feel like I ran a marathon. So, yeah, so the BioLifting Serum, this is the oil-free. Honestly, I did not enjoy the other one, the one that comes in the silver, but I think it's just because of my skin. I'm oily, like I felt it was too thick for my liking, for what I look for. Um, so I can't even really speak on it because I didn't try it long enough to say it was good or it did or didn't do what it was said it was gonna do. Um, the last time I wore real clothes. Honey, Mo, Miami, Miami. I was, yeah. And I stayed where I grew up. And uh, so then I combine it with the mattifying cream, primarily in the T-zone where I know I get them. I get oily everywhere, but I focus the mattifying cream in the T-zone and it's just flawless. And I don't know... It all depends on the mask that you wear. Sometimes you get a lot of humidity. Um, real clothes, what are those? <laughs> Sometimes I get um, a lot of humidity from my mask and I really enjoy the mattifying cream. So I'm trying to find a way to put it because there's more back there. We just don't put it right back in here. Um, then I picked up a lipstick. There's a bad connection. Do you guys? See? Yeah, Just Glow Firefly loves it, but she has um, dry skin. Okay. Sounds good, Nadia. Okay. So then I picked up the lips, a lipstick, and this one is in the shade, honey, they be trying my life. Don't they know I learned Spanish before English? Narcissia? I want to say that's what that says. <laughs> like, I'm not illiterate, you guys, but like, anybody who's bilingual knows, like, when you read things and you think, like, you think in the first language you learned. Um, Nadia so funny. And I learned English in third grade. So I have a hard time with pronunciations, but look, there you go. This is the lipstick. Jen. It doesn't, the formula, because, um, I did go play with the lip cheeks, um, it's not that far off. It's not as sheer as the cheeks. It's the actual lipstick, but I really love this color. Yeah, I earned my ESOL certificate in third grade rupee and I, I still have it in a folder. Like I was so proud that I learned English <laughs> and I was born in the States, but our family was like, you're gonna learn your culture first, you know. Yeah, the lipstick is gorgeous. I can't wait. And because I did the full face of Shantakai and I felt some type of way that I couldn't do a full face, uh, would I ever do a dark lip? I don't think I've ever bought a dark lip. I've never tried a dark lip, Amber. Oh, I kept mine, Ruby. I worked hard for that thing. So because I did the full face of Shantakai and I felt some kind of way that I didn't have everything, I um, I bought the brow gel. And this one is in the shade dark. And then have a good night, Christy. You be safe as well. The brush is small. Let me see. I'm trying to get. Oh, that's a good shade. So there you can see the brow gel. Oh, 
Oh, y'all want me to do a vampy lip? I wouldn't even know where to start. Like, do you just do like a nude lip liner and this throw on a dark? Oh, you need the Tom Ford brow gel, just glow. Like, it's not a matter of like, keep your eye on it. It's like, just get it, just get it. Oh, <laughs> oddly Aquarian, you're fine. I, I would have to look. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't even know where to go buy a new lip. I mean, a vampy lip. You can get dark lip liners. Oh, they sell those too. Oh, you see? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't do dark lips. And then I got the face, face and eye. Whoa, geez. Hold on. The Real Skin Eye and Face Stick. So at first I had tried a sample of this concealer because I used it as a concealer and I didn't like it. But then I realized that I wasn't properly moisturizing. And um, Sean K Beauty and Mo, I've been watching them a lot. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to lather it up under the eye and see. Yeah, it was me. It was all me. Like this stuff is good. And Sean K loves, Sean K Beauty loves that stuff. And I was like, why haven't I been able to make it work? My bad. I was too scared to moisturize because I'm so oily. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to talk to uh, you guys about this vampy lip situation. Hold on, let me get a sip of my coffee because you know. Ah, perfect. So then I also bought the waterproof brow definer pencil, well, crayon. And I did get this. Let me show you. Oh, it looks like it goes perfect with the brow gel. And then this one is in the shade Oak Brown. Oop. There you go. <laughs> I'm clumsy too. Me and Betsy were talking about that the other day. And I was telling my sister, I'll crash into the kitchen island and say sorry to the island. And then I walk around with bruises all over the place. Y'all are funny. Which one? The gel or the pencil, um, Jen? Just glow. You stock up on sales. Yeah, so all of this was on the 30% off. So then I also got the lip definer pencil. And this one is in the shade Discreet. And I just thought it would go. I'm going to swatch it next to the lipstick. Yes, it goes perfect with the lipstick. You can see that swatched right there next to the lipstick. Yeah, the pencil. The pencil's good. Well, I haven't tried it, but it swatched nicely, Jen. So I did, okay. So um, another full face of Chantikai might be coming while we wait to, to go through all of these luminescent eye shades and try all of our new goodies. And then they were kind enough to send me samples of the Blanc Gardenia Brightening Essence. Have any of you guys tried the essence from Chantikai? And then they sent me a few little deluxe samples of the Rose de Mai cream. Because I've been wanting, even though I use the other one, um, the BioLifting Serum, the oil-free one, um, during the day. Hey, Amanda. I like to use something heavy and, like, not heavy clogging, but, like, thick and... I like to look, like, greasy before I go to bed. Like, I need my skin to soak it all up. I can't wait to try the Rose de Mai. I have seen it on your channel, Maria. Maria is Night Star Beauty, and she does have a channel, you guys. And she is oily skin like myself, and she's just um, more experienced. We don't say mature here. We say experienced. So definitely go check her out. Okay. I'm trying these Westman Ateliers. We're going to set them on the floor because... The magnets keep pushing them all over the place and I don't want to drop them. Okay. So let's go, since we're talking about Chantikai. This was from before I went on vacation. Um, 
mature. Did I say that wrong? <laughs> Do I have an accent? <laughs> yeah, we say, we don't say mature. We say experienced. So I went to Chantecai um, at Nordstrom's. I mean, at Neiman Marcus, I apologize. Um, to meet the beautiful Connie. So Connie, if you go on Chantecai's site, you get to see all of their reps and everyone. So I attended a skincare masterclass with Connie and immediately fell in love with her energy. And I just like, I told her, I have to meet you. So I went and I met her and I cannot begin to tell you like how humbling, like she's just amazing. So everything I'm about to show you was gifted to me. And I, I hate COVID because I just wanted to grab her and just kiss her and hug her. Like it was just so sweet. I went there one to meet her and to buy the cleanser and the exfoliating cream. So they're not in here because they're in the bathroom, but she did gift me the foaming cleanser. As, as, so this cleanser, it's like literally a pea size or just less than a pea size gets you um, a whole entire lather. You could add more water and keep lathering. Like this is amazing. And the exfoliating, exfoliating cream as well. So there's a little two products that I've been So there's two items that I've been using. And if you follow me on Instagram, you see that the progress my skin has made. These are my two diehards. Like these, I need them. I refuse to run out. So those are two. And then... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, jean Pierre or jean Vier. I'm not sure how you say it. Oh, thank you, Jen. I've been working really hard on my skin, like really, really, really hard. And I did realize that I cannot use vitamin C of any kind. It instantly clogs my pores. It causes just irritation. And I'm okay with that. It is what it is. Um, as long as I can get it to a good place. So the next thing that was gifted to me, oh no, this one I bought, sorry. This one I bought in the sale. This is the Serena bronzer. I mean, I placed an order and didn't buy a bronzer, really. What did you think? What did you think? So here it is. So I didn't go with Goa because I felt it had too much of a red tone. And I really like my bronzer to look, I'm trying to, how it looks when I naturally tan. So there it is. So I went with the Serena, which is more of that warm. The Goa has a reddish undertone. Oh, Tara, you got Goa. Yeah, if you have like pinky undertones, um, I would say Goa. If you like the more warm and it's not orangey, I love Serena. Like I could do my whole entire face with this. Like I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, then she gifted me the cushion and this is in the shade Nude. And like I said earlier, um, I did try it in Miami and I loved it. Well, Ruby, you're, you're tad darker than me. I just don't like the red hues of undertones of bronzers. That's just me. I'd rather go with like a dark warm and then a medium and a light warm just to make like the ombre look to the brightening of the face. Um, but that's just me. Yeah, the embossing of the powder is beautiful. 
So here's the foundation. Like I said earlier, I wore it in Miami. It wore beautifully. And here's the shade. I'm not going to. That's what it looks like. I got to wash it. Don't you judge me. I just got from out of town today. Today. Like, it will be washed. <laughs> Oh God, I already told Steven, Alpha, I see you and I have to talk um, because I need to find Steven a bronzer. So we we, ha we got to talk. I, I talked to him. I know what he's looking for, but you guys, I am loving this. Um, like I, I can't. So I told Molly to try the Future Skin Gel and then try this for additional coverage and she's loving it, but I didn't have this in my hands yet. So I'm going to give it a try. And I didn't take the gel with me on vacation because I didn't want, because it's gel, like it doesn't have a pump. Like I just didn't want to mess with, with possibly making um, a mess. Thank you, all feisty. We're going to get him right. We're going to get him right. I just know we are. So then um, they gifted me these four liners. Um, I have on the shade slate today in the waterline and also on the upper waterline so let's move this little homemade bracelet here so this is slate thank you rupee i think between my love for a bronzer and um Hi, Nara and um, all feisties, fair skin. We're going to get Steven the right bronzer. I just know we are. And then next thing you know, he's going to be like a bronze goddess with us. <laughs> exactly, Locke. <clears throat> so this one is in the shade Nude. It's beautiful for the waterline like especially for like the day look when you want your eye to pop and really look open it's so nice nadia has the lightest one oh, of the skin tones so this one is in the shade violet damask and i don't think the camera is gonna pick it up just how violet that is this last one here Their liners do sell out a lot, Molly. I don't even know how she had these in hand. Hey, Kelly. You have faith in us that we're going to find him the bronzer? I have faith, too. So I posted on my Instagram my full face of Chantecai with the cushion in Miami. And I had this liner on as well. And this one is the green, which is the olive brocade. Which is this one here. I mean, I will I will go hunting for a bronzer for Steven. Next, they did gift this to me and I did take it to Miami and I wore it a lot. <laughs> so this is the Manta Ray Duo and this is the Coral with the highlight. This is so beautiful. This blush, you guys. And I know it's not on their site. I know it's not on their site. But Connie can hook you up. I think um, Betsy saw it and was like, ooh. So trust me, Connie can hook you up even if it's not on the site. So if you're interested, just reach out to me and I'll give you her info. And then once this processes, I'll put her info in the description as well. But, oh, jeez, look at that. Like, come on. I do have the four Wayne Gosses. Hold on. So, which one, Steven? The Coral, Coral Rose? Connie is amazing. Like, no, Coral Rose is definitely way too light um, compared to this. Yeah. See, like this is Coral Rose right here. And then this is the Chantecaille. Let's see what other wing goss. 
this one is blush peony blush peony is more pink but i, I got you steven i love wayne goss blushes so i keep forgetting the cameras backwards so the one right here closest to my wrist this is the blush peony Maybe, maybe bright poppy. Hmm, hold on, let me clean my finger. Yes, the Shantikai blush is pigmented, but you can also like diffuse it. It easily diffuses out. Just like the, oh look, there you go. This one's closer. Let me see. So this is the Wayne Goss, and then this is the Shantikai. So this is the Wayne Goss in Bright Poppy, which is actually my favorite shade of the Wayne Goss. I do love them all. And now, now I want to swatch the Vivid Azalea to see if how it looks next to this Westman Atelier. Yeah. So this is the powder and this is the Westman blush. Hey, Lux Beauty. So talking about Lux Beauty, you guys will see in the description box that I linked her Instagram. So let me finish the Shantikai products and her and I went shopping and we had a blast. So we will get into that in just a second. So that's the manta ray. And then she gifted me the hummingbird and the warm, which is no longer available. But look, you guys, like, can you tell me why I've had this like a week or two? And it looks like I've had it forever. Because I swear when I got it, I swatched it. 10 or 12 times before it ever even made it on my eyeballs. But yeah, that was sweet of her. Um, and then there is five mermaid shades. So, and these were gifted to me as well. Like, I just want to make that clear because this is the shade seashell. Look at that. Look at that foil look. These are so soft, so pretty. I have seen these um, on Just Glow Fireflies channel and I was like, hmm, those are nice. They look nice, but in person, whoa. And the, look at this mauve mushroom taupe shade. This one is starfish on the ring finger there. Oh, Molly, I'm going to get that butterfly quad. So like she called me when I was out of town and I'm like, I'm not going anywhere to get it. Like I, I want, I want to get it from you, Connie. Like I'm not going anywhere. I could, I'm in Miami. I could easily go somewhere and scoop it right up. Like, no, mm -mm. not doing it. So here is Hermatite. And there's that shade. It's like a, it's like a brownish gray color. It's very pretty. Look at these shades, you guys. Like these are all beautiful. Molly, I haven't tried them on my eyes. So I set everything aside except for the cushion and some liners and the manta ray. Honey, I took some stuff on vacation. I didn't take everything. You know how how hard it is for us makeup lovers to pack for vacation. Like I packed three bags. I thought it was gonna be two, and there being three, three makeup bags and one skincare. So this is the shade Sylvie, which is like more of a matte, like very nice transition shade. I love this shade. And then the last one is in the shade Triton. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. Hold on. Let me rub it all up in there. 
Look at that. Look at this silver gray. And it has like an antique green look in it too. Like, look at this. This is so pretty. Me saving my pennies. Okay. Let's wipe this off. So that is Shantakai. Now let's go to, um, not Nordstrom Rack, the regular Nordstrom damage that we did. So Lux Beauty, she doesn't have a channel, but she does have an Instagram. Thank you, Steven. And, um, hey, Conley. And I've linked her in the description down below. She's so sweet. She's a true lover of makeup. She shops at the Nordstrom near me very often. Um, <clears throat> and she introduced me to some pretty amazing people. And I had such a good time. We had such a good time walking around, um, talking makeup, talking life, just getting to know each other. And I was like, wow, like somebody that just enjoys what I love, that's so sweet, so kind. And I could hang out with her all day. I really could. And I was like, when I got home, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to tell her I want to do this again. And I immediately sent her a message. Please say we could do this again. Please say we can do this again. Like it was, we just had such a great time and thank you so much. Um, so make sure I said the same to my hubby. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, it was so much fun. But make sure if you're not following her on Instagram, you do. She does have some great things coming to her Instagram. And if you are a luxury beauty lover, you do not want to miss it. And that's where we will leave that. But she is great. A great person. Okay. Turns more white instead of pink. <laughs> Sorry, coffee, you know. So I said I was going to try more Charlotte Tilbury this year. I'm still not leaning towards a quad. I'm still waiting to see when the next long one comes out. And I think that's when I'm going to try the shadows. But I did buy a small, and a lot of this stuff she <laughs> turned me to. Um, so she was like, yeah, try it, try it, try it. Yeah, swatch, swatch, swatch. I was like, okay, we're doing it. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. I did try it on vacation and I don't, it doesn't have a scent to me. I mean, and it's not like sticky like a lot of people said, but maybe it's because there goes Jen and this uncooked chicken. It does have a scent. I smell it now. It's rosy. Yeah, it does have a scent. Maybe because I had just sipped on my coffee. Like, you guys and this uncooked chicken, like, I told Jennifer from, from Alfeisty, it's so unflattering every time she says that. <laughs> I just think of, like, I don't touch chicken. I don't touch chicken. I'll touch beef. I'll touch pork, but I won't touch chicken. Aw, you're so sweet. jean is so sweet. Look at Alfeisty. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. So I also got the bronzer. Oh, duh. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't touch chicken either, Conley. Like, I'm not doing it. Like, I'll get a fork. I'll put it on the um, cutting board. I'll cut the fat off, all that jazz. So, yeah, like a bronzer and a bronzer as big as this? Like, what? Like, this was like like the Natasha Denona glam palette. Remember what I told you guys when I saw it, it was like, oh, that's what this was. Yeah. So I got it in the shade three tan. Look at this. Like this is huge. I love it. I swatched it. I was like, whoa, like, look at that that look look at that look at that combo you guys know i wear two look at that dark 
lighter. And then the Marc Jacobs Muse. Oh, buff it all. Buff it all. I'm so excited for this bronzer. Like, you guys, like, this is what a bronzer does to me. Like, bronzer and foundation are my weaknesses. They really are. Cajun seasoning. Y'all make me hungry. Yeah, so Lux Beauty told me to try this. She's like, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. I think maybe, yeah, I think maybe when I get my summer color, I might get the four. Um, one shade up. That's a good idea, Steven. I didn't even think of that. Just buy bronzer in every shade and skip foundation. You know what? When my hyperpigmentation goes away, I might just do that. I just might. So then I got a Chanel quad because I have a lot of Chanel, but I didn't have a quad. So I wanted to get the road movie. I cannot find this thing in person. Like I really want to see it in person before I just get it. And I want road movies so bad, but they didn't have it. They didn't have it. I know Chanel has it online. Um, but I want to see it in person. So, and I didn't like the blurry blue. I didn't like the way the blues swatched. So I got blurry green. And I did wear this Super Bowl Sunday. And this is beautiful. Exactly why I went without feisty. Yeah. You want to send me road movie just so I can look at it? You're so sweet. Yes, Mo. Yes, road movie. I, what is it about that quad? Like, but I want to touch it. Like, I want to. <laughs> I just, I don't know. But I really, really want that one. But this blurry green was beautiful. I wore it on um, Super Bowl Sunday. I loved it. I think I, um, I think I Marco Poloed with a few of you and oh, Steven. Steven said, Oh, you look beautiful. And when I, when I came outside, my 20 year old son said, Dang, ma, yo, make her look good. I was like, Hey, <laughs> that's when you know you're doing something right. Somebody don't even do makeup. So, this is Mo's doing right here. Mo's taking me down a rabbit hole, you guys. I know she's still there. I know she hears me. Tom Ford. These are the cream and powder eye color. The cream and powder. Yeah. So this one's in golden peach. Now I want them all. I want them all. Oh, so here you go. So this is like a moussey texture. Yeah. Lock. Mo do it. Do it to all of us. Like, I got to film, if I filmed a video of all the things that Jennifer from Al Feisty, Jennifer from Just Glow Firefly, and Mo made, made me buy, like, it's a lot of my makeup collection. But look at this. It's just stunning. Here, there's a little bit on the top, so I'm not going to dig my fin finger up in there. Like, hold on, let me wipe this gloss off. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so rose goldy. Lord Jesus, I need to lather this all over my body. Look at this. Mm-hmm. If my kids compliment my makeup, they want something. <laughs> he didn't want anything. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, the green Chanel. I'm sorry. We'll swatch it. Oh, let me get it. I'll swatch it on this side. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting there. Let me just finish this one since I have it open. And then this topper shade of the Tom Ford. Mm. Like, I can't. So I wanted, like, there was a greeny like a greenish brownish one they i forgot the, the shade they didn't have it so i got that shade so here's the shade of the topper 
Did I show you the topper? Look, I'm so excited. Like this rose gold dome threw me all the way off. Accountability <laughs> for the things. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Stephen. That's what we got to do. Like, look at this. So that is this topper shade right here. Oh my God, so pretty. Thankfully, I'm not a 20 year old boy. Yeah, my 20 year old actually really liked my makeup and I was like, whoa. And what's crazy is he didn't want nothing. We weren't going nowhere. Look at that. That's the topper shade right next to that rose gold. This rose gold, um, like, yeah, yeah, that's it. Bronzers and rose gold, everything will be set for life. Yes, yes, we would. Yes, we would, Locke. So, let's go back to this Chanel and get, get you your swatches. Um, Miss Molly, my bad. You could have said, girl, you slacking. Where's our swatches? So, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. So I had that all over the lid. I only used um two shades on Sunday. I did not use the darkest green, which is more of like a hunter dark. It's nice though. Look at that. Look at this green. I'm never leaving Steven. You still haven't received your art. I thought you already got that. So this was what I used on the outer V. So I had the first shade all over the lid and I did this on the outer V and in the transition, I mean, in the crease and just buffed it up. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And then the last shade is more of like an antique gold with a little like look at that it's like if you ever had something brass and you haven't hit it with the brass oh yet that's the color right there you know what i mean i used to be an rltc so we had to brass oh everything <laughs> Why did I ask for swatches? <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. Molly, you need some sun, some warm weather. You think it's the cold that just... Molly's like, give me all that makeup. I can't go outside. <laughs> it is a beautiful quad. I'm really enjoying it. I really, really am. I couldn't wait. Like, I didn't even... I just threw it in my makeup bag. And I wanted to take so much of this new stuff. And I was like, no, no, because then I'll get home, I'll unpack, and everything will end up all over the place. I was about to put my hair up, but I don't want to look crazy. Y'all y'all going to have me looking like I'll be looking on Marco Polo. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let's go back, because I got another Tom Ford. I got more Tom Ford. So this is um, Naked Bronze. And it looks like a true bronze color. This is the Tom Ford, just like that peach something shade. The rose gold pretty shade, golden peach. I don't know why it's golden peach. It is rose gold. Like... People buy rose gold, just sell it as rose gold. Ooh, ooh. What in the world? Okay. Like, come on. Wait, this way. What? Look at this bronzy shade. Like, what? Mo, you got this shade. Mo, what's the darkest shade? I forget the name, but it was so pretty. <clears throat> I want the darker shade, but they didn't have it. 
And then here is the topper shade, which you see right here on my ring finger. Like this is just stunning. And like, I would put this bronze shade all over the lid, buff it upward, and put this shade as the inner corner. And yes, that shade mo is so pretty. That darker. And then put that in the dark in the inner corner and pop right in the middle. Where are we going? She cute. I'm telling you guys, I told y'all was a lot. I told y'all. Like, don't y'all judge me. This is a no judgment zone. Isn't that what we said? Okay. More Tom Ford. No snow, just sleep. It's the flirty, yeah, it's the first one. I knew I'll try to pronounce that. It's the first one, no, Mo, because I remember trying to tell her uh, when we were there. This another Mo made me do it. I told Mo in a comment, I wanted to try it. Why does it look so white? <laughs> Hold on. Eh, that looks really white, but it's, it, we, we, we'll figure it out. Um. This is the concealer. This is the Tom Ford Emotionless Concealer. She she said I would love it. She said I would love it. And Mo hasn't steered me wrong yet. We'll see. So yeah. Why did it's bare beige? I just automatically went one down. So like my foundation shade is six. So I went with five. But I don't know. She's kind of white. She looks like the shade of the bronzer I'm going to have to find, Steven. <laughs> oh, y'all so sweet. Yes, just judgment free. So we're going to try that Tom Ford concealer. If we have to go up a shade, we'll figure it out. Um, while I was in Miami, Georgia got snow. And 10 minutes north of us, they got like three or four inches. And the kids were just waiting and... They didn't get anything. Hi, Ski Culture. I know, I know. I was just messing with y'all. So I got two Tom Ford liners. I got... The first one I got is... Abyssi, Abyssinian? I want to say that's how you say it. And this is a dark brown shade. They didn't have Chocolat, I think it was, which is the one that uh, Mo's always talking about. But this was the another brown shade they had, which I thought would be nice. Who's leaving? Ruby or jean Pierre? Whoever it is, thank you. Have a great night. Thank you for coming. And then I also got Brut Rose. I thought this shade would look nice with the... Yes. Oh, I just broke the point. That's how soft they are. Look at Aileen, breaking the point. Let me let me do this softly. I got a little excited. Like a rose gold liner? Like, you guys. Rose gold liner. What? Okay, I need to stop because I'm in heaven right now. Like, And I got to... Yes, Mo, this shade is amazing. Let me pick up this tip before I step on it because I do have carpet. Okay, yeah, like I literally broke the tip off. Let's put it in a bag. So that is that. 
And then I got this Dior, like, so you can see it's not clear. The nail polish is not 100% clear. It's kind of like an American manicure. Lux. Honey, th these liners. So this is the Dior nail polish and this is the nail glow. So it gives you like this American manicure look. It's so pretty. So natural. I just put two coats. You could do three and get more of a pink look on the, on the nail beds. But I'm really liking that. And then she gave me in Dior, she did give me samples of like the new skincare, like the serum foundation and like a big bag of samples. So I have, I'm going, she, they gave me a lot of samples in twos. So like, I know I'm going to buy some of the lipsticks. So I'm going to, these are like the velvet, whoop, the velvet, the matte the satin and the metallic. So I'm like going to put some of these samples in the giveaway. So I think we're at four something with subscribers. As soon as we hit 500, I'm going to have a big giveaway. I'm going to have two winners and I'll throw a little spoiler in there. If you guys want to know the little spoiler is, um, Natasha and the Nona. It's going to be in there. And I'm not picking which Natasha Denona. The winners will pick which Natasha Denona. So I do have like two baskets that have a bunch of stuff. And whichever winners, they will pick their $65 palette and of their choice. And I will have it shipped directly to them along with everything that they win. So I love Natasha Denona. We're just going to spread the love. So I had a situation, a little situation um, in December where I was going to film something. Something came up. I couldn't. By the time I was going to film my birthday haul. Um, oh, thank you, Stephen. Yeah, I just, a little situation. I just, um... <laughs> I just knew that um, I didn't want to post my birthday haul like in January, like mid-January. So I have a lot of stuff here. I got like the meteorites. Um, these are not the holiday though, because I feel like those pearly glows. I love this smell. I could smell this all day. And my daughter too. She asked me for the paper that comes in here because she just wanted to smell the paper. That's how good they smell. These are just the standard medium ones. Um, look at this, you guys. Ashley Willard can't be here today, so we might see her in a few days. But she gave, she gifted me this. I also got um, the two Vizzy Arts. Like I have, this is all makeup I haven't played with. So this is the neutrals. Here we go. Like just haven't touched it. Like I haven't had time. And it's like, you would think a Aileen would stop hauling, but yes, my birthday was December 6th. And then here's the other one. And this is the neutral Mats Milou. And then I know I mentioned in my Gucci video, my Gucci foundation video, that Jennifer from All Feisty bought me this for my birthday, but like who was paying attention to that when that foundation was so awful? So Jen from All Feisty, she's so sweet. She gifted me this Gucci powder. I did take it on vacation. It's like perfect touch up in Miami. It looks white on camera. There you go. Like she's so sweet. I love Willard too. Willard is like, she's just a beautiful person. And I met her in person and she was just so nice. Yes, Lux, this powder is amazing. And she also, Jen also gifted me the by Terry. This is the Paris by Light. 
like I want to dip my little fingers in here so bad that it's like I want to do everything on video like that's why I don't touch my new makeup is like I want it to be on video so that people could see my like honest and first impression but like I literally had to hide this from my daughter because if you guys have ever seen my daughter like does my makeup she wants to go to Paris one day and be an artist and I was like oh my god if she sees this like this will disappear like it'll be gone but like Willard all feisty like I love I love all y'all I love all y'all but I really have become really close with Alfeisty, Just Glow Firefly, Betsy, like a lot of you guys. And it's like, I couldn't be happier with my community. So have any of you guys tried this? This is a boo bean. So one of my subscribers told me to try this. I love our people too, Kelly. All of them. Kelly, I'm back in Atlanta. You owe me a polo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You didn't, want to, you didn't want to bother me in, on vacation. So this is a brow product that they were like, oh, you should try it. So I bought, well, my honey gifted it to me for my birthday. And it has like the three, I mean, for Christmas, the three little strokes. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. To do the hairs. So I haven't tried it. But one of my subscribers did recommend it. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. Why not? I love our community too, uh, Ruby. Like, so while we're talking about our community, I'm just going to, this is not negative. This is not nothing. I just want to make something very clear. Um, yes, Betsy talked to me all day, all afternoon, all night. Um, so I just wanted to say that if I have collabed in the past with someone or you've seen me on their channel, I don't, and they may have done something that you don't agree with, just know that that's not a reflection of who I am. I don't accept, um, uh, there's certain things I'm just not okay with and I don't accept, um, in my personal life, in my professional life, in my life, period. And if you go to these channels and you see my lives taken down or anything like that, just know that it is a decision that I have made um, to just grow some distance from certain individuals. And I don't look down on anybody in the decisions that they choose. So if anybody in this chat chooses anything different, that is fine. Um, but just if you don't see me um, supporting certain individuals or one thing or another, just know that um, that's a personal decision I made. Um, and I will never say, hey, you can't support this person. You can't do that. I am always here to support each and every single one of you. I just wanted to um, make that clear just from my perspective. Um, I really do love you guys and I stand strong for certain things. And um, yeah, that's that. So here, I also got the Le Beige's Eau de Tint Water Fresh Tint. And I haven't tried it. Like, I have not tried it and I don't know like some people are like oh I love you guys too thank you Conley um yeah I'm not here to bash anybody you know people make decisions they make mistakes and um we can all grow and we can all learn um but I make decisions on how who I want to associate myself with and what I want to do yeah that's pretty much that um, I did get the meteorites brush. I'm not even going to lie, you guys. This brush right here, it's not all that. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> this is so scratchy. This is so, <laughs> like, literally, like, I can't even, I don't think I have a brush 
it feels like a badly cut elf brush. When my daughter saw it, she was like, oh, pink. And she was like, oh, no, here, that's scratchy. And I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> so I'm guessing that maybe it's a little rougher around the edges and um, to maybe like pick up the powder from the meteorites more. That's all I can think of. Um, but I do have that. Willard sent me this along with the love palette. Like you guys just have to let me know what you want to see first. So it's like out of everything I showed. Oh, wait. I got the Salt New York. Have you guys seen these? So this is the highlighter shade. These are cream. And I don't know if it's still going on, but they had 30% off. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Full face of everything new. I love salt. I haven't tried my salt yet. Me either, all feisty. It's still sitting right here. So, this is the bronzer shade like a duh bronzer 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 give it to me bronzer uh-huh look at that really just warm just warm bronzer i want to try the danessa myricks but the my shade was sold out okay so this looked like it had like, there's no AC vent here. There's no heater vent here. I keep my house at a good temperature. It looked like it had like little water dots. And then when I swatched it, it was kind of wet. Hold on, let me try to. Okay, so this is the coral shade. I think Mo picked up the coral shade too. That's the coral. And then I picked up. I forgot what, what shade this is, rose. And if I, so they're like wet, like there's like condensation, condensation. That's the word, right? On the top. So that's the rose shade and then that's the coral. Yeah, I want to try the Danessa. So my shade was, um, my shade was sold out. And then, look at this. So I tried Sigma eyeshadows um, around the holiday for the first time, the Sigma holiday collection, which I actually really like. I got it in medium too. I'll see, I was thinking about getting medium one. And it was sold out in Beautylish and everything. So look what the beautiful Kelly Rettenberger from Keep Beauty Real got me for, for Christmas. Isn't this pretty? I can't wait to try this. I know it's old. But honey, this boho shade right here. These two shades right here. This yellow and this green. Like, I'm so here for it. I can't wait to try it. Rupee, I am a shade between you and Betsy. So Betsy is like a tinge lighter than me and you're a tinge darker. <laughs> Untamed. I don't have that one. And then Space NK sent me um, a bunch of samples. Oh, I bought this too and I haven't tried it. Honey, y'all... The Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Flawless Filter in the shade, what shade did I get? Four. I got it in the shade, hold up. Oh, oh, I tried to pull up. Y'all, y'all don't. I thought it was like a pump. 
Okay, go with shade two if you're between them. There you go. That's the flawless filter. I'm going to try that. So I think I have enough makeup to do a full face in Tom Ford, a full face of Chantecaille, all with new stuff. Um, the Westman Atelier. And then just multiple faces of new videos and stuff. So what do you guys want to see? I know I'm going to do the... Um, the Nikki Joy Cosmetics with the blue. I'm going to do that next. Hey, Sean. Is that the glow stuff? Yes, it is, Steven. So it's like, just because you're oily doesn't mean you can't glow. You just got to be very selective. This is it right here in between the two blush shades. See that? all the things <laughs> i'm just so excited yeah i'm gonna do um the nikia the westman and then hon honestly i can't even lie like i'm so ready to film with this tom ford and put this all this rose goldness all over all over my body i'm excited okay westman yeah i'll do westman um for sure for you guys and um you guys are so much fun that if i if i don't have time to film it we just gonna we're just gonna pop on live and do it the eye look with by terry yeah i could do the by terry like a simple yeah mm -hmm. let me write it down Just whatever you want, I give it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Westman. So the Westman, I will give it a try. Um, full face of bronzer challenge. Honey, I could do it. I have bronzers, all shades, all shades, all everything. Bronzers are the things that I probably have the most of. Like I probably have the same amount of bronzers as I do. Look at me laying my face on all these swatches. Just making a mess. As I do um, palettes, honestly. She just got real, she's taking notes. Yeah, I mean, if you ask for it, I wanna do it. So it's like, you know, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta take my notes. Yeah, I'll do the, um, we're going to be busy with Aileen till 2012. Molly, stop it. <laughs> Maybe 20, <laughs> Maybe 2024 because who said who said we stopping here? Hmm? Slips coffee? <laughs> oh, y'all are too much fun. Y'all are too much fun. Um... Let me just go through here real quick and see if I miss anything. It really is Aileen writing and Steven reading. <laughs> a full face of bronzer. I'm telling you, I could do it. I could so do it. Y'all crack me up. I decided that the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter thing is no good for my oily skin. Oh no. So Maria, did you try it everywhere? Or did, were you selective? So like the Dior one was okay for me, but I could tell like just by swatching the Charlotte Tilbury, like this Dior one is more of like a waterier consistency that I'm able to put everywhere. Um, and then I could powder down the areas that I don't want. Um, honey, I'm dropping everything. Y'all don't wanna see this disaster. Um, let me pick my Westman Atelier up from the floor now. Now that we finished moving everything around. Um, so yeah, I think, I mean, I'll give it a try. I'm not going to lose anything with, oh, you see, they're still flying everywhere. We're going to put one in every corner because these magnets. Okay. So yeah, Maria, I mean, I'll give it a try. Uh, maybe I'll be more selective. Bye, Lock. Let me 
see. All right. So is there anything that I showed you guys that I didn't swatch? I know Molly called me out on my little Chanel and now she's, she's regretting it. But is there anything that I didn't swatch that you want to see for the magnets? <laughs> Why? So what, um, Space MK sent me some, oh, you see this, this has got to go in the, um, in the giveaway. Kate Somerville, retinol, vitamin C. We just said Aileen can't do vitamin C. Bum Bum Cream, I got like five of these. That's my giveaway bag back there, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all better start sharing. We gonna get to, ooh, dark spot corrector. Ooh, I'm gonna try that. Have y'all tried this brand? Y'all, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Called Day... I don't know. Have y'all tried this brand? For any skincare? Oh my God. Road movie. Y'all still talk about road movie knowing darn well I couldn't get it. I love all that you all showed us. And I did a little bit of online shopping too. <laughs> You guys, Maria is um, the night star beauty. She's the one I mentioned earlier. She's so sweet. And I go to her all the time to watch everything. Um, oily skin. Liz, did you like it? So this says it's a dark spot correcting moisturizer. It's a sample that I got from Space MK. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And it says vino perfect and vino in Spanish means wine. So, you know, you know, I'll try it. Oh, it was in a boxy charm and I was shook. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. I didn't use the moisturizer. I used the treatment cream. Oh, okay. Did you like the brand as a whole? You guys, I can't wait to share this giveaway with you guys. Like, there's so much. This is full. Let's just say that. It's a big bag. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this and see how I like it. But that is it, you guys. That was... That was my haul. <laughs> That was my haul. <laughs> that is a big bag, um, Maria. So I'm going to split that bag in two. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to do a house and a car. <laughs> and then I'm going to do on top of that, just because everybody has different makeup choices and preferences and you don't know what somebody has and what they don't have. And I really do want to spread the love of Natasha Denona with everyone I can spread it with. Um, then you, the winner will get to choose the Natasha Denona palette of their choice of $65 value. Um, and that will be, yeah, that will be the giveaway. I'm so excited. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Oddly Aquarian, I have Acre Ac neat prone skin too. Um, so I'm glad to hear it didn't break you out because I am very cautious about what I am doing to my skin. So I completely stopped everything I was doing for three di days. I did cleanser only. And then I incorporated one more thing, just those two things, three days only, and then just slowly. And then that is when I realized I cannot use vitamin C in any form, in cream, in oil, in anything. So maybe you can try seeing if you minimize your skincare and then start working your way up if there's something you're using that's just not working. Um, because I do have acne prone as well. So. Reactive skin and I enjoy the brand. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to give it a try. See, um, Steven, vitamin C didn't make my skin burn. It just clogged my pores. So I have a large pores um, because I am oily. Usually people with oily skin have larger um, pores and it would just clog my pores. It would clog my pores 
And in the areas where my pores got clogged three days later, I could feel like one of those um, pimples, cystic acne, whatever, that the second you touch it, it feels like a big ball, but you can't, it's like deep rooted in the skin. That's what I was getting every time I tried um, vitamin C. All right, you guys. Well, thank you all so much for coming. I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you. And don't forget to spread the love. Tell all the makeup lovers in your life to come on by and subscribe so we could get this giveaway up and rolling. Um, oh, I would never try Charlotte Tilbury face cream. Uh, there's too much fragrance in that. Yes, cystic acne under the skin. Yes, they are very, very painful. But I will have a big skincare live that I want you guys to look forward to and prepare your calendars. That will be March 7th at 2 o'clock with two special guests. Um, and that will be announced closer to the day. So mark your calendars now. It will be Sunday. March 7th at 2 p.m. And my live with Rupi. I mean, uh, sorry, I'm thinking Rupi because I got to Marco Polo her. My live with Betsy will be on Betsy's channel. So if you're not following Betsy, go ahead and follow her. And my our live will be on this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Central Time, Betsy. Betsy, your time or my time? <laughs> so it will be at four. Um, and central, four central, so five Eastern. And then we will be doing, I'll do my makeup the Betsy way and she'll do her makeup the Aileen way. And we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun and just have a great time. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Good night. <laughs>